Complete change of subject now. It's a bit creepy if you look around. I know, I'm scared. Uh, these have been dubbed the killer invaders that are targeting bees. They've even caused some deaths of people in France. But has the deadly Asian hornet made it to the UK? That one's looking at you. Worried members of the public believe they have spotted some of these in the south of England. People have been told to be vigilant. Get it? Be vigilant. Uh, we asked beekeeper Adrian Rhodes to explain the dangers. A single Asian hornet queen can raise 6,000 hornets in the course of a season. And these hornets prey on honeybees. The western honeybee has no defence against it. And so they can destroy a colony of honeybees very quickly. Towards the end of the season, they will create 350 or so queens which will overwinter. Next spring, you've got 350 colonies ready to set up. Deadly. The Asian hornet is about an inch long, much bigger than a wasp or a bee. And it has a very dark black body, but it has a yellow segment towards the back of its abdomen, and it has bright yellow legs. Stay away from them, don't try and deal with them yourself. They can be quite vicious. It's really not fun being stung. But don't be afraid. Uh, people won't be upset with you if you're wrong. Much better to, for, us, for you, for anyone that thinks they've seen the hornet, to save the British honeybee by reporting it than let it, uh, let it take hold. That would be awful. We're joined now by Mark Champion, who's an entomologist at the Lancashire Wildlife Trust. Good morning. Morning. I suppose what we want to say, first of all, is that we're not trying to scare people this morning or, or cause a panic. Uh, but there, are, there is some speculation that these hornets are around. How dangerous are they to people? Um, well, in France, they've been in the country there for about, since about 2004, and there's been six deaths through anaphylactic shock, which is not much different to the European hornet or bees and wasps. It's not a, a sort of higher number. So it's not as if they're more dangerous or not more really, toxic, no. so to speak, no. than bees or, or regular hornets. So the problem here, I suppose, what we're really worried about is how they might attack our bees. Yeah, they, there's um, quite a lot of evidence that they, they eat bees. But one of the other good things is they eat wasps and things as well. So, we, you know, that... Um, and they're not particularly aggressive to people, but they do sort of sit outside beehives and potentially eat bees. But there's a lot of evidence that they stick outside the uh, hives. They don't make a habit of going in and eating the young. So um, you can actually stop the uh, hornet getting into the hive by narrowing the slot because they're four times bigger than a bee, so it stops them getting into the hive. We've, we've reported a lot over the last few years about the, the various threats facing beekeepers across the UK with, with viruses and maybe pesticides and that kind of thing. Is this a real threat or is this something just to be aware of for now? Um, well, there are, there's only been, there's been two um, reported sightings in the country this year. So it's, it's potentially yet another pressure on the bees. Um, I think it's down to the, the uh, management of, of the problem um, and trying to prevent them uh, damaging the hives more than necessary. Is it inevitable that we're going to see them here in the UK? Um, it appears to be with the with the sort of um, global warming. Um, this year's had some of the uh, largest global temperature increases. They've moved very quickly since 2004 and are now found all the way up as far as um, South Normandy in France. They're moving through um, the west side of France but that still leaves quite a large the width of the channel for them to fly across. Mm. Um, but I think that as they move through France, uh, the, obviously when they get as far as Calais, it's not so very far. And the other risk is bringing them in in uh, potted plants. And uh, the ones in France arrived in a uh, consignment of pottery from uh, China, we think. So it, it, there's the, the, those mechanisms for uh, introducing them. OK, Mark, thank you very much indeed. We will keep our eyes out, but we won't be too alarmed for now. We'll be sensible. Thank you. Cheers. Mm.